We're getting it done, we're making our homes and ourselves better, let's do this. In case you're wondering, is it just me? No, it is not. I just cleaned this room! <laughs> Everything that's featured in this video genuinely saves me time and money. And I like that I didn't have to take the time to pick it out, somebody else did it for me. So come on, let's spend the morning together and I'll show you some of my favorites that I've been loving. This morning, we're starting out cleaning the master bedroom and I've been really swimming back toward the basics these days. We're just using soap and baking soda. Super simple, let me show you. If you have dingy or yellowing sheets, add about a quarter cup of baking soda right to the drum of your washing machine and add all of your white sheets. Then you're gonna wash as normal with your detergent. The baking soda is gonna help brighten, whiten, and clean. If you want to, add about a quarter cup of vinegar during the rinse cycle. This trick is a life saver. Check out the before and after. There's lots of expensive products on the market right now for cleaning upholstery, like vacuums that are like $200, but truly, some Dawn dish soap and a little bit of warm water goes a long way on all your linens, basically anything that's not microfiber. I use it all the time to clean our headboard and it only takes a few minutes. Those simple products really can do the trick. And you guys know I'm all about zone cleaning, which is deep cleaning just one section of your home at a time. It leaves a really satisfying before and after. And the reason I love it so much is because it saves me tons of time. Once I'm already in an area, I just have to do about 10 extra minutes of work to fully deep clean the space. Under our bed, definitely needed it today. And one of my favorite tricks is the one rag rule. So once I'm cleaning and I get everything done, I like to go over it with a steam mop. Then once I take that off, I see how many things I can keep cleaning using it. Today I noticed our fan needed a little bit of extra love. How long has it been since you cleaned your fan? This is what I like to call the cleaning loop. Where could you fold in a little bit of extra cleaning using what you already have in hand? Try to give yourself that challenge this week. This is all dry and you can see it is all clean just with some simple soap and water. Looks really good. Oh, everything is looking really good. It's nice and clean. It always feels good to get down into like the nooks and crannies, you know? And when I'm cleaning or with my family, I love to feel comfortable and put together, but I don't want to spend a lot of time. I get tons of questions about where to find like affordable house cleaning gear that's still cute and those easy to wear everyday clothes for busy moms. You guys know I love Thread Up. It's the world's largest secondhand clothing store with up to 90% off retail and they have a brand new service, y'all. They have these amazing boxes called goodie boxes. A stylist goes through and picks out clothing that's in your price point based on a quiz that you fill out so you can have items that are really inexpensive and super cute delivered right to you. You pay a $10 deposit for your box and whatever you keep, the $10 goes toward. But they waived that fee for you guys, so the box right now is completely free. The link is down below. And you can return anything you don't like, so if you're indecisive like I am, it's really the best of both worlds. This is what my stylist grabbed for me. An Ann Taylor Loft shirt retails for $45. I pay just $10.99. J. Crew shorts retail for $60. I pay just $9.99. On this shirt, so cute. I love J. Crew. I am loving this loft shirt. It retails for $60 and I got it for under 20 bucks. It is so flowy and high quality. Looks super cute with the shorts. I totally need a tan, but we can overlook that for now. They did a really, really good job of that. Let's see what else is here. This J. Crew top has an estimated retail of $55 and I got it for 10 bucks. And it's not one that I would have necessarily picked up myself, but I really, really like it. And the fabric is so, so nice on it. I'm definitely keeping this one. They also sent this really comfy purple tee. Tell me what you guys think. I don't typically wear this color, but I feel like it's a nice change of pace, especially for summer, and the fabric is really, really quality, and it's less than 10 bucks. 
Again, I'll put the link to the goodie box down below. Anytime you see me wear clothes and videos, you can pretty much guarantee it's from ThreadUp. I just cleaned this room! <laughs> Thank you, Owen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Our house is always a little on the crazy side and even by 10 a.m. our kitchen looks like a bomb went off in it. And it makes sense why it looks like that to be honest. Let me know if you can relate. Oh God, oh God, oh God, you got the fruit cup. Come back, buddy. Oh, you're such a silly boy. So I've been embracing that mid-morning mess and actually waiting until my kitchen has at least 20 solid minutes of work to do and folding in AM meal prep. The kitchen's already messy anyway, so it's kind of the perfect time to do it. I'll link a blog that I've been following down below called A Pinch of Yum. She has tons of healthy recipes. This one happens to be a vegetarian cauliflower and cashew soup. It is so easy and so good. I'll be sure to have all of it linked down below and she has tons of options that take minutes to throw together. Then I give my kitchen the power 20, just 20 solid minutes of work where I'm gonna clean everything up in one fall swoop. This saves me tons of time by doing it this way. been loving the basics, especially because so many cleaners are sold out of stores. I've just been using hot water and soap on my countertops and then my e-cloth polishing rags, which I got out of the habit of using and I'm rediscovering how much I love them. All you need is water to clean and it perfectly polishes off your granite. And while I have it at hand, I also clean my light fixtures or, or any glass nearby with sticky fingerprints. And about once a week, I usually deep clean my kitchen table. You guys may remember, I actually thrifted this a few years ago for just $200. It's white, so it shows everything. But just taking a minute to give it a deep clean and relax. But the deep clean is definitely worth it. Next is floor care, and I want to share with you two simple products that have saved me so much time and money. The first is Murphy Oil Soap. I use just a few squirts in about a gallon of water, and there's no need to wash it off, along with my O Cedar mop. You can get these for about 30 bucks, and you can actually take off and wash the mop heads. The reason I love this mop so much on hardwood is you can control the amount of water on the mop. You dip it and then you wring it out. It leaves absolutely no streaks and I've used it for years and years. I especially love how affordable it is. This thing saves you so much time and energy, especially if you have pets. One thing I've been really striving to do is be completely done with my indoor cleaning by noon. So that way I can have time to spend with my family and be outside. All that other stuff, it can wait. Today what I was working on, and this is super satisfying, is my next favorite tip, which is a power washer. This is such a great investment for repurposing those things that look dingy and old. And we had a rug outside, oh my goodness, it definitely needed a deep clean. And this is so satisfying to do out in the sunshine while the kids were playing. I love when those really simple and inexpensive products make a big difference. afternoon I've got some time and space to shower, hang out with my family, and lunch is already prepped. I just have to turn on the Instant Pot. Basics 
methods have been really calming and really motivating. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. There is a link in my description to thread up goodie boxes. The fee has been waived so it's totally free and no obligation. And so I hope you guys love it. I will see you soon, bye. Is that more crumbs? Mm -mm. <laughs> you silly banana. You're lucky you're cute. <laughs>